Good job from Ric Flair there, but Suzuki's back in mount again. He is going off. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you here, and welcome back to this month's PCW tournament, PCW Ready to Die. This tournament so far has been better than I could have ever imagined. The Landmine Deathmatch ended up being absolutely fantastic, and now we are on the second half of the second round to see who goes to the top 16 in this tournament. Remember, if you want to join PCW, all you have to do is click the link in the description and check out all the information and then sign up if you want to. You're automatically entered once you sign up. So there you go. It's pretty interesting. Also, remember, guys, I would love to hear what your favorite match of the episode was down in the comments below once you finish this episode. And remember to leave a thumbs up to show your support to keep the show moving along. Now, without further ado, let's get into the second half of round number two. Sami Zayn versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. That alone in itself is an interesting matchup, but then you throw landmines into it and uh, things get a little more interesting pretty quick. Sami Zayn is representing Sydney W. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh my goodness. We hadn't even got two seconds in the, I hadn't even done the introductions yet. And Sami Zayn is already busted open. Stone Cold is not gonna waste any time here. Stone Cold representing Jonathan I. Sami Zayn making his PCW debut here in this matchup. Stone Cold fresh off a win in round number one. We'll see if that comes into play in this matchup. And as you can see, well, Stone Cold's already got my man Sami Zayn feeling kind of red. Oh, he went for a shoulder tackle there. I don't know. That could have looked like he could have ran straight into that barbed wire. There you go, Sami Zayn. Get into the mix there with a fireman. Wait a minute. Hold on. We got a little bit of a small package action. It's going to be a one count, but Steve's going to be the one that takes advantage. He keeps going for that shoulder tackle, but it doesn't work very often. I feel like Sammy's just like, eh, don't worry about it. And we already have a reset here. Well, that's pretty early. Steve's going to throw Sammy into that barbed wire board in a corner. Oh, onto the chair, too. Isn't that interesting? They actually interact with the weapons on the ground. Isn't that crazy? That's wild, isn't it? It'd be crazy if some other game. Ow! Oh, Stone Cold! Is he going to be able to get the victory? Two point, okay. Got the shoulder up. Stone Cold Steve Austin with the stunner. Looks like Sami Zayn is in and out of this one really quick. If Steve can hit that one more time, that could be the end of this matchup. But we got the back and forth action here. The punches now between Stone Cold and Sami Zayn. It keeps going. Sami Zayn with a Yakuza kick. He picks up Big Steve, but Steve's going to be like, nah, to that. Landing on Sami Zayn, picking him back up center of the ring. This is exactly where Steve wants him. Lariat to the back of the neck. Stone Cold now off the ropes. Big knee. He dropped the middle fingers. This man wants the end of this match right now, boys. Sami Zayn going to try anything he can to stop this from happening. But it might just happen. Another big Lariat from Steve Austin. He is giving it to Sami Zayn. But Sami Zayn is trying his hardest to... Wait a minute. Sammy. Two counts. Steve Austin is going to be able to kick out of that one. A drop kick from Sami Zayn is not going to happen here today. As Steve Austin is going to go, go around here. Sami Zayn now has the momentum riding in his favor if he can just get Steve Austin. Oh, wait a minute. He's got a little bit of a roll up here. Just a two count again. Sami Zayn now firing off with some punches. The momentum is all in Sami Zayn's side here. If he can follow up with this and beat Stone Cold Steve Austin, that would be one hell of a PCW debut. A roll through here from Sami Zayn. Just another two count. Sammy, oh, looked like a blue thunder bomb. Just a two count from Steve Austin. Hold on now, Steve Austin's shoulders are down. Sammy's Zayn going back to back to back to back to back with these. Boom, oh, straight up throwing Steve Austin with the explosion. The crowd is starting to come alive here. Oh, Steve said not today, Sammy boy. Oh my, Sammy firing back, okay. Tell me Sammy's got the fire in him. Wait a minute. Steve Austin. Oh, I thought he was going to be able to hit something, but Sami Zayn's going to hit that swinging neckbreaker. Fireman's carry here from Sami Zayn. Steve Austin with the punches on Sami Zayn now. Combination flurry. Steve Austin down as Sami Zayn looks to hit another. Oh, I thought maybe he was going to go for a blue thunderbomb. Steve down. Sami getting stamina. This is not looking good for Steve Austin. He's going to have to do something. The combination punches are exactly what he needs to get done here. The middle. Uh-oh. The Lariat middle fingers. This is not looking good. Big Steve. Sami Zayn is bleeding everywhere. The face wash. Stone Cold going after the injured Sami Zayn. Throwing him onto the landmines again. 
Sammy is taking a beating right now. This man is bleeding hard. What is this? Jumping pile driver on Sammy Zayn. This man is out like a light stone cold stunner. And I think that is all she wrote for this one. Whoa. Sammy Zayn kicking out it to the crowd on their feet for this one. Off the rope, Steve Austin drop kick from Sammy Zayn. A big exploder right there from Sami Zayn as he picks up Steve off the ropes one more time. Big DDT, but Steve said, I don't care about no DDT. And the boys are going at it. The back and forth from Steve Austin and Sami Zayn. A big Yakuza kick, a big lariat. Both men are down off the ropes. Steve Austin with the knee. Sami Zayn now with a suplex. Gonna get some stamina back. See what he can get done with Steve. Stone Cold Stunner from Steve Austin as he looks to pick up the victory in another two count. And another Stunner! <laughs> oh my, how is he doing this? How in the world is Sami Zayn kicking out of all these? Off the ropes. Steve Austin picks up Sami Zayn middle fingers. You know what that means. Oh, wait a minute. Tricking Sami Zayn. Off the ropes, Steve Austin with the lariat now. What does Sami Zayn got in mind? Oh, Brain Buster to the floor onto the landmines. Steve Austin getting back in the ring. Looks like Steve Austin is now busted open himself. And we have ourselves a match here. People 15 minutes in. Sami Zayn wants to end this as soon as possible. A drop kick will send Steve Austin to the floor here, but Steve's going to drag him over to the corner near that barbed wire board. I don't know what exactly he has planned here. Frankensteiner from Sami Zayn. But Steve Austin goes after them nuts. What is Sami going to be able to do here? Swinging neck breaker. A Koji clutch him. I don't know what he could do exactly to take down Steve Austin because right now, Sammy is definitely more hurt than Steve Austin. But if he can catch him off guard, he's dragging Sammy out. Oh, a big lariat. Once again, Steve is just killing these lariats. Swinging neck breaker there from Sammy Zayn who gets Steve up. Oh, a roll through here. And he did it! Sami Zayn with the upset over Stone Cold Steve Austin. I cannot believe my eyes. In his PCW debut, Sami Zayn has taken Sydney W to the next round. Kenny Omega versus Baby Reigns. Kenny Omega representing Chris M. Baby Reigns representing TH Takeover. Omega showing right here off the bat that he does not respect Baby Reigns. He thinks he's a little Goo Goo Gaga man in a Goo Goo Gaga promotion, and he is going to show him what's good. Kenny Omega won the previous PCW tournament, and then he went on to face Big Bear unsuccessfully, but not many men can say that they have won a PCW tournament, and Kenny Omega is one of them, so Baby Reigns definitely has his work cut out for him here tonight. If he hit that suplex a little closer to the rope, he almost could have sent him out into the landmines there. But Kenny Omega now taking control of the legs of Baby Reigns. Off the ropes here, they hit each other. Roman Reigns, center of the ring, going for them. Dells, look at the striations on this man, Kenny Omega. He's never been in better shape than he is right now. Kenny Omega is looking good. Into that barbed wire board there. Roman Reigns again going for that shoulder. Maybe trying to knock it out of socket. It's an interesting plan here, but I think we could be seeing somebody. Oh, I thought maybe we were going to see somebody go outside into the landmines. It looks like maybe that's not the issue. Kenny Omega now going to target the shoulder of Roman Reigns. A big, forceful power slam there. Oh, a basement drop kick. Just a one count. Baby Reigns is not even going to entertain the idea of losing just yet. Underneath goes Baby Reigns. Kenny Omega able to stop himself. Wait a minute. Roman Reigns sends Kenny Omega to the landmines on the outside. My man is busted wide open. There's blood everywhere. Roman Reigns is going to go straight for that noggin. He knows. This man knows that he is busted open. He knows he is weak. And he needs to aim for that noggin. And he's going to do just that. The back and forth here. The punches from both men. Kenny Omega comes out on top. Kenny with the drop kick. It looked like somebody hit a light tube there. 
If that was Kenny Omega, that's just bad, bad luck. Baby Rain still looks unscathed. They have a little bit of a showdown here. Kenny follows through there. Off the ropes, the combinations. This is exactly why Kenny won the last PCW tournament. This Kenny is crazy. This man is, is, once he starts getting a momentum, he starts getting a little bit of wave of momentum. It's tough to bring him down. Pele kick there from Kenny. Baby Reigns gets behind him, throws him up against the ropes here. Big clothesline from the big dog. He's got that headlock locked in. Kenny trying to get to the ropes. He knows damn well there's no ropes, but it's just muscle memory. No rope breaks here in PCW. No rope breaks in a landmine death match. Either way, Kenny, you ain't making it. Roman Reigns still trying to continue this beatdown. He has to keep Kenny down, but wait a minute. Oh, the cross leg fisherman busta. Kenny is through playing around, people. Baby Reigns with a lariat trying to keep himself in this matchup as long as he can here. There he goes, dropping Kenny Omega. Kenny is starting to lose a lot of blood, but wait a minute. We've seen Kenny win with this move before a Styles Clash. Is that going to be Baby Reigns 2.9? Baby Reigns ends up kicking out. Able to stop that. Baby Reigns now off the ropes with the big leg drop, brother. Uh-oh. Roman Reigns wants that spear. Is he going to be able to get it on the hurt Kenny Omega? Kenny now. Oh, a big snapdragon suplex there from Kenny Omega. Off the ropes. Wait a minute. Roman Reigns off the ropes. Boom. <laughs> Superman punch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You can see it in Roman Reigns' eyes. The big dog got a hunt. Just a two count now as Baby Reigns is looking to finish this. Wait a minute. Kenny's calling for the end of this matchup. Could we see a one-winged angel from Kenny Omega? Two. Two Oh, no. <laughs> Baby Reigns back at it again. Kenny Omega on the landmine. Baby Reigns does not want to lose this match. Kenny Omega putting it on the line himself. Off the ropes, the big knee. Wait a minute. Oh, a poison Rana from Kenny Omega. Off the ropes again with another knee. Wait a minute. Big Dog with a sit-out powerbomb. And it's just a two. He goes behind on Kenny. Off the ropes. Big clothesline. Uh-oh. He's locking that fist up. Body slam center of the ring. Wait a minute. Kenny following through. Both men are down. The crowd here at PCW appreciates the hell out of this match. Tries to go for a drop kick. Kenny's not going to let it happen. Picking up Kenny Omega off the ropes. Oh, he went for it! He went for the spear, but Kenny has been watching the tape. Dr. Wiley's bomb from Kenny Omega. 2.9. The match is not over yet. Off the ropes. Big spear! One, two, three. And he did it! Baby Reigns is taking TH TakeOver to the next round. Kenny Omega going down in round number two. That's the, that's just the PCW tournament in a nutshell right there, ain't it? 100% Baby Reigns going over and moving to that next round. We have only had two matches here in this video so far, and both of them have been pretty damn good. So the work is laid out for good Lord Braun Strowman is going to take out Dean Ambrose before it's even a started of a match. This man Braun Strowman don't care. He said, what did you say about some good matches? I'm here to beat some ass. <laughs> this man Braun Strowman is brolic. Dean Ambrose never had a chance. Dean Ambrose. Oh, wait a minute. Sending Braun Strowman to the floor on those landmines. Dean Ambrose making his PCW debut. Braun Strowman representing Hale Mendoza. Dean Ambrose representing Ashton. See, it could be over for Dean Ambrose right here. No, he's going to be able to kick out. Let's see what Braun Strowman can do now when his face is all bloodied up by Dean Ambrose. An arm bar? Has my man been taking classes? This is straight to the point. Two minutes in, Braun Strowman is done playing. A big forearm from Dean Ambrose will knock down Braun Strowman. 
But oh my goodness, he's looking to take him out Give back. Dean Ambrose is stuck in a move he never thought he would be in. I mean, this is a hell of a first match here for Dean Ambrose in PCW. We'll see if he'll be able to take down the big man. What is he What is he trying to do here? A tiger driver? What is, what is exactly his plan? Well, either way, it's not working as Braun Strowman just sees it coming. Maybe if he wrestled in something other than jeans. He's definitely not Epico with the jeans, I'm going to tell you that much. Off the rope, Dean Ambrose knee to the stomach now. Braun Strowman down, but he's going to get back up. I mean, just the swiftness and agility of an almost 400-pound man. It just it doesn't make any sense. Running power slam would take down Dean Ambrose. Ooh, he's able to kick out. I don't know how he's able to do that. Dean Ambrose now with the full mount, but Braun Strowman again with that arm bar. It's impressive. It's honestly impressive that Dean Ambrose has been able to sustain the amount of damage that he has taken so early. I mean, these running power slams, I've seen, I've seen him put people down in one move. And here's Dean Ambrose kicking out of it again. I mean, it's obvious that Braun Strowman is here to, 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 to take down Big Bear. I mean, he's coming out the gate. But the longer this match goes, it's gonna become an issue for Braun Strowman. Because you blow your load too early, you ain't ready for the race. Dean Ambrose, on the other hand, he seems to be doing good. He seems to be slowing things down, be getting it on his pace. It's a smart move by Dean Ambrose to see if he can drag this match out because he knows that's the only way he's going to be able to beat Braun Strowman. He's not going to beat Braun Strowman in the first, like, three minutes. What is... Oh, my goodness! Power move by Dean Ambrose. Like I said, the longer this match goes, Dean Ambrose has definitely had an advantage here. Sidewalk slam. Braun Strowman sends him to the ground, trying to catch his breath. It looks like he did just that, though. This is not good for Dean Ambrose. You let Braun Strowman catch his breath, and that is not good. Oh! That's what he was going for. Dirty deeds from Dean Ambrose. Just a two count. I was like, what in the world was he going for? But Braun Strowman answers back with a reverse choke slam. And it's a 2.9. Dean Ambrose kicks out. The crowd here is appreciating this match. There's a four over the back of the neck. Sends Dean Ambrose down, but he is not afraid. To go after the nuts of Braun Strowman. Dean Ambrose now going from behind. Braun Strowman going to reverse with a big clubbing blow of his own. Able to send Dean Ambrose to the floor. Sitting in Braun Strowman's blood. As he continues to bleed more and more. Dean Ambrose is on fire, people. He's going for that leg again. He likes his position on Braun, but I don't know if he's going to be able to do anything of substantial miss words. <laughs> And Braun Strowman sends him to the floor. Braun with the big headbutt on Dean Ambrose picks him back up. Dirty Deeds on top of the chair. If Dean Ambrose was able to just get over and get the pin, he could have beat Braun Strowman right there. Braun Strowman was definitely down for a three count. But Braun just not able to get pinned. Dean Ambrose once again coming through with the goods. Into the corner goes Braun Strowman. Dean Ambrose, another dirty deeds, but Braun Strowman fighting spirit. The clubbing blow will send him to the floor. We're right by these landmines. The sidewalk slam near the ropes scaring me. The clubbing blow once again. Dean Ambrose has got to stop the bleeding right now. And here we go. The boys are going to throw down. Braun Strowman, Dean Ambrose, a big clothesline from Braun will send Dean to the floor. We'll see who gets the upper hand in this next part because this is the biggest part of the match right now. We're 12 minutes in. Dean Ambrose definitely has a chance here. A big discus forearm. Dean Ambrose wants to end this match. Here we go, dropping those elbows. We've seen it so much this tournament so far. Backbreaker from Dean Ambrose as Braun Strowman is now woozy on his feet. Braun is trying to figure out a way to stay in this match. He knows that his stamina cannot keep up with Dean Ambrose at 14 minutes in this match. As long as he can continue to get these clubbing blows on Dean Ambrose, Braun Strowman still has a chance, but the dirty deeds will send him to the floor. Dean Ambrose is going to go for the pin. And it's a three count. Dean Ambrose in his PCW debut is sending Ashton C to the next round. He beat the big man. He was able to withstand all of that damage. Well, 
Next round is definitely going to be tough for Dean Ambrose, that's for sure. DDP with the belly tape back at it again, facing off against Tetsuya Naito. DDP representing Mass Effect's Tetsuya Naito, representing Xenon AMVs. Naito has a win under his belt. Hell, he's got a world's championship under his belt. Naito has been trying since he lost the world's championship to Big Bear to get back into the mix of things. He wants to get back in the finals. He wants that opportunity one more time to face off against Big Bear, but he has to go through DDP with the belly tape. I'm telling you. You got DDP with the belly tape. You got DDP with the jeans. I mean, I don't... It's tough. It's tough out here, man. But if anyone can do it, it's Tetsuya Naito. DDP now busted wide open. A body slam from DDP in the corner. You can tell he wants to get this landmine game going. If he can get Naito bleeding, that is a very good sign for DDP. But right now, Naito is just taking advantage. Naito is just taking advantage of the Yoga Maista. Off the ropes now, they run into each other. Naito always with the upper hand. If you notice every single time something happens, Naito seems to be right back into the mix. DDP trying to change that. Swinging neck breaker from Naito now as DDP looks like he is woozy poozy. That blood is pouring from his face. A big discus lariat will send Naito to the floor, but it's just gonna be a two count as he kicks right out of that. And now we got a showdown. The back and forth punches from both men who will come out on top. It continues, DDP's the one to do it, but he used all of his chakra. And now he's going for the abdomen of Naito here. Smart decision off the ropes. DDP with a big jump and clothesline, but Naito doesn't care. Wait a minute, Destino! My man hit it out of nowhere. That's his specialty. DDP's gonna watch out the two for one special! And it's just a two. You gotta watch out because once it gets on a string of things, them Destinos come out of nowhere, man. I'm telling you, you gotta watch out. Let's see if that Discus Lariat was enough. 2.9. Naito almost getting a loss there, but he rolls through DDP's shoulders on the mat. We are not done just yet. Oh, wait a minute. We had a German suplex bridge here from Naito onto the belly tape of DDP. Big flying shoulder tackle from Naito. We'll see what Naito's got in mind here. DDP gonna try to stop every, oh wait a minute, he's calling, for, is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get the diamond cutter? Night. oh, a spike Frankensteiner from Naito. Now he's trying to get behind DDP, you knew what was gonna happen, but DDP eats the landmines on the floor. This is not looking good. Naito smells it. He smells the end of this match. The crowd appreciates Naito. He goes to the Destino, gets beat up with a discus lariat instead and a diamond cutter onto the board. DDP cannot get the pin, but he could have. He might have won this matchup. Destiny! Is he gonna be able to beat him? 2.9 hesitation on the pin. Otherwise, I think he might have beat him there. Naito with a snap suplex now. He picks up DDP. DDP in the corner. Naito trying to get that last Destino. He knows this is the only way he can beat him. A roll through now. DDP shoulders on the mat. Two count. DDP said, if you're going to beat me, it's going to be straight up, boy. He picks up DDP for that swinging neck breaker. Both men are bloody and battered. DDP gonna take a second to get some stamina back now. Off the rope skis. Sends DDP to the floor. DDP actually getting up a little quicker, which gave Naito a chance to punch him in the face. Off the ropes with a big spinning kick to DDP. He picks him up. Naito wants to end this. A jawbreaker from DDP. Both these men bleeding. Both these men are bleeding, but Naito said it's over, old man. Is he gonna go for the pit? Is that gonna be enough? Is DDP too hurt? He is! DDP goes down to Tetsuya Naito, taking Xenon AMVs to the next round. Naito wants that opportunity one more time to face off against Big Bear.
Well, we'll see if he gets it. Look at this freaking matchup. Minoru Suzuki versus Ric Flair. This is my kind of match right here, boys. Minoru Suzuki representing Julian B. Ric Flair representing Reed F. Minoru going to go ahead and try and send my boy Rick out there on those landmines. That's not what you were trying to do there, buddy. You not slick. You are not slick. Rick going to go in deep with the headlock here. Minoru is not going to be doing all that just yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this is my kind of match right here. Rick gonna drag Suzuki in, go for them legs. You know he wants that figure four. Rick with the kendo stick beating the brakes off of Suzuki. I thought it would be the other way around, but Suzuki's gonna shoot on Ric Flair. He's got that leg. You have got to watch out for Suzuki. The Swift, and this man might be a little old. But the swiftness is still there. Oh my goodness, Ric Flair, you gotta get out of here. You can't be letting that happen. You cannot let Suzuki get behind you. That is a bad, bad game. Suzuki is bleeding. I actually think that makes him stronger, to be honest with you. When Suzuki starts seeing his own blood, things get a little crazy. Rick is able to stuff the guard. Good job from Ric Flair there, but Suzuki's back in mount again. He is going off. This man, Suzuki. Any second you think you're doing good, all of a sudden you're not. Rick going to drag Minoru to the center of the ring here. I don't know what Rick's got playing. His, I think his plan is to just use as many weapons as possible to try to keep some distance between him and Suzuki. As you can see here, he's got that delayed suplex. Look at that. Sends down Suzuki. Both men are down currently. As Suzuki goes in with the chop, sends Rick Flair to the floor. Rick's trying to keep his distance. As long as he can zone Minoru, it'll be okay. Oh my goodness. Just the flurry combination here from Minoru Suzuki. Look at this stretch on Ric Flair. Oh, Rick's going to be the dirtiest player in the game. That's how it be sometimes. Suzuki knew what he was getting himself into. Big drop kick from Rick will send Suzuki down. And he's flexing. Okay. Big headbutt now, Suzuki. Oh, penalty kick to Ric Flair. Body slam sends Ric Flair to the landmines on the floor, and my man is busted wide open. Blood is everywhere, people. That delayed suplex. Look at the beauty of this. Just incredible. Both men are currently down, bleeding everywhere. They're giving it their all here in PCW. They know what this championship is worth. They know what this tournament is worth. And he won! Did Ric Flair just shoot, knock out Minoru Suzuki? I cannot believe my eyes. Ric Flair with the delayed long brain buster just took down Minoru Suzuki shocking the world that's the thing with these landmine death matches you just never know you just never know when things might go south super quick these dudes are getting hurt out here they are putting their lives on the line in these landmine death matches and you just never know we have tomohiro ishii representing stephen d and neville representing tyler l and ishii's going straight into it he is not going to wait for anything. Neville trying to keep Ishii down, put in, put him in some submissions. It's a smart idea that Rings of Saturn, very lethal move from Neville here who slides underneath. Big kick to the midsection. A Frankensteiner from Neville, a combination of moves here. Very good start from Neville, but Ishii fires back with just a headbutt. Just a headbutt. Nothing special. Just a headbutt. And that's Ishii in a nutshell, man. He's just a strong dude. Bite 141. The dog! Ishii now, ooh, dropping a little elbow action on Neville here. Big super kick will drop Ishii, hitting that chin flush. But Ishii fires back with the forearms now. Oh, baby, that clothesline. It, oh, wait a minute. He wants that submission victory. Neville not going to give it to him now. 
big suplex on the floor now. Ishii down, going for the legs. Neville is. Cannot hit that red arrow, so he's kind of have to worry about uh, uh, Rings of Saturn. He can't hit the superplex neither. Neville's kind of put down to one move. The back and forth. Neville's the one that comes out on top here, but Ishii playing possum there with the kick. Does he have the Brain Buster in mind? Does he have the Brain Buster in mind? The delayed suplex, and it looked like maybe somebody would might have hit that baseball bat with the barbed wire on it. You gotta watch out for that kind of stuff. Uh-oh, that's not looking good. Did y'all see Ishii roll it right there? Did y'all see Ishii right there? Wait a minute. Another delayed suplex. Look at the strength of Ishii. Just absolutely incredible. Grabs the leg, not letting Neville even breathe for a second. Uh-oh. Ishii's bleeding. Neville. Big sit-out powerbomb. 2.9. Ishii not going down just yet. Ishii fires back. Brain Buster! Ishii now off the ropes. Big Lariat. Bite 141. Neville kicks out 2.9. Neville with the big release, German! Ishii now bleeding heavy from the landmine attack. He does not care as he goes straight for the shoot headbutt. Neville now big sit out powerbomb. 2.9. Ishii not finished. Oh, he went for that brain buster, but Neville was able to reverse through. He's learning. He's learning. The shoot headbutt from Ishii now. Neville up. Big Lariat! 2.9, it is not over just yet. Neville with the release, German! I just hit that Kevin Dunn on that camera angle. Wait a minute. Ishii Big Brain Buster! And it's just a two count? It's just a two count? Wait a minute. It looked like Neville wanted that Rings of Saturn. Neville is down. Ishii regaining some stamina at the moment. The punch is being thrown. Ishii now picking up Neville. Frankensteiner onto the barbed wire bat here from Neville. Off the ropes. Big basement drop kick. And the Rings of Saturn are locked in. And that's all she wrote! Neville takes down Tomohiro Ishii and is taking Tyler L to the next round, even with the crippled move set. Neville does the thing and moves on with the rings of Saturn. What a match. This video has had so many good matches. And now we have the opportunity for another one. We have Samoa Joe representing Dean L, Bobby Lashley representing Breakdown. Both of these competitors first time here in PCW. Did this man just hit a spear 45 seconds into the match? Is Big Bob wilding? Because that's what it looks like, people. He's got the headband on. You already know what that means. Big Bob is not playing around. Samoa Joe, oh, the STF is locked yeah. in. He wants that submission victory over Big Bob. He wants to hear him say it. And Big Bob just hits the landmines on the outside. Samoa Joe looking good right now as Big Bob is red with blood. Big Bob with the spine buster now center of the ring. The chops from Samoa Joe. What is going to happen here? He goes for that shoulder. Big Bob with the belly to back suplex. Dragon Sleeper, we've seen it before. Will we see it again? Will Joe be able to get out? He does. Maybe Big Bob put on some deodorant this morning. Big suplex from Samoa Joe as he picks up Bob. Tries to get him from behind, but a spear from Big Bob will send Samoa Joe to the floor. Just a two count. And now the boys are going at it. The chops, the punches, Samoa Joe with a big lariat. Picks up Big Bob Lashley, big sploder. Doesn't send him to the outside. A senton now from Samoa Joe. Big Bob with the belly to back suplex. A punch from Samoa Joe leads into a Gooch Destroyer. 
off the rope, Samoa Joe. Oh, Joe is gassed. And Big Bob said, I ain't gassed, boy. Off the ropes goes Big Bob with a spear. And I think that one mess up might send Samoa Joe home. No. He is still in the match with an exploder suplex, which sends Big Bob to the center of the ring. Now Samoa Joe going from behind. Maybe looking for that Coquina clutch with a spear onto the board. And that's all she wrote. Big Bob Lashley and Breakdown are moving on. Samoa Joe just not able to keep up with the stamina of Big Bob. It's the headband, man. It's the headband, the extra oxygen. And now for the final match of round number two, we got Sting and Rob Van Dam. Is, is Rob Van Dam already bloody? He must have landed on that barbed wire bat. Sting had a plan. He had a game plan going in here. Rob Van Dam representing William C. Sting representing Eric. Rob Van Dam is already busted open. That is not a good sign for Robbie. But as we saw last time, Sting brings that heat. Sting making his first time appearance here in this PCW tournament. Rob, it's a little bit of history. Sting now going for that shoulder blade. As Rob is going for that back. We'll see which one ends up being the better strategy here. As Sting hits him with a shot. Ooh, that was a quick little kick there from Rob Van Dam shooting the gap. Hey, I can respect that, Rob. Put the meat on him. Off the ropes now. Ooh, onto the chair. Rob gonna go for the pin, try to pick up a victory over Sting. Uh-oh, Sting wants to... Oh, the Scorpion Deathlock! And Rob Van Dam is able to get out, even bleeding as much as he was. Oh, and a big kick to the back of the noggin will take Sting down. Both men at a reset here three minutes in. These matches have been really quick. I told you, you don't know what to expect in these landmine death matches. A roll through here from Sting now. Shoulders were down for Rob Van Dam, but RVD gets up. Sting with a suplex on RVD as he picks him back up. Body slam, and RVD is a very handicapped in this match as he does not have access to that five-star frog splash, but it can make up for it with a chair. Into the barbed wire, onto the chair. Sting now in full control as RVD tries to fight back, send him into the barbed wire, and we have a little bit of a showdown. The back and forth action here as both men continue to throw the punches. RVD able to get the upper hand, maybe having a little bit more stamina to expend than Sting had. Both men going for a finisher there. He wanted that lariat. He wanted that kick, RVD with the taunts. Sting is gonna be able to get his stamina back as RVD sends for the crowd. Uh-oh, Sting's got that bat. He's got a little bit of a barbed wire on it. Things are a little different. RVD with the taunt. What is he gonna do to Sting here? Sting with the Gooch Destroyer. Good old atomic drop here, backbreaker. Sends Sting down. We'll see which man is reeling here first. That's what it, oh, Sting making a fatal mistake. We'll see if RVD can capitalize. RVD is bleeding real bad. Sting just started bleeding, but RVD is. Uh-oh, the crowd's getting behind him. But Sting rolls him through, shoulders down, RVD. 2.9, it is not over just yet as RVD picks Sting up. The crowd is still going in. Sting with the strength. Pure, unadulterated strength here from the Stinger. RVD with the moonsault onto the steel chair. 2.9 matches, not over with just yet. Sting once again flexing out that strength, showing off the biceps, the triceps, the delts. Sting going for the pin, just a one count now. The kicks from RVD send Sting flying. A judo throw there from Sting will send RVD to the ground as Sting gets some stamina back. Looking to string together a couple of moves and maybe end this match off the ropes with a big shoulder tackle. Off the ropes goes Sting, a big spinning kick, but Sting was able to move out of the way. RVD maybe was waiting for Sting to move out of the way. 200 IQ move, spinning back kick to the back of the head, but Sting's back up to his feet. Judo throw from Sting. The kicks from RVD send Sting flying back. The baseball bat in hand for Rob Van Dam. Uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute. Sting was able to roll through. 
A 2.9 RVD almost caught off guard. Shoulders were down. Atomic drop there from Sting. Dropping the elbow. Can he hit that Scorpion death drop? RVD with a big spinning kick. Sting now center of the ring as RVD hits another body slam. Very close to two weapons. Off the ropes now. RVD with another big spinning kick. Picks up Sting now. RVD trying to figure out a way to stop Sting. Is he going to make RVD give up? The blood is rushing. The blood was rushing again. RVD taking down Sting off the ropes. Rob Van Dam with the flipping senton. Sting, big suplex. Does he have a scorpion death drop or a scorpion death lock? What does he have inside of him here? Rob Van Dam with the backbreaker. He's going to do that split thing. There you go. RVD now getting stamina, trying to figure out what it needs to be done. Big flipping senton. These moves are not going to put away Sting. He's going to have to try something different now as both men back and forth. The punch is now 13 minutes into this matchup. Sting with the punch. RVD punch, and they are still going. Sting with a lariat. He's going to use this time. The RVD is down to get some stamina back. RVD taking him over to the steel chair and dropping a leg on top of the steel chair. Another leg on top of the steel chair. RVD now, he's getting sent on top of the steel chair. Sting is calling for the end of this matchup. What is this? Pow driver from Sting! And Sting wants a Scorpion deadlock! And he has got it synced in and the referee calls for the match. Sting has done it! Sting is taking Eric. To the next round, RVD just couldn't find a combination to take down Sting with the five-star frog spice taken away from him, and Sting will move on. All right, everyone, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope that you enjoy it. That was everything from round number two. In the next video, we are going to round number three. Remember, tell me down in the comments below what your favorite match of the episode was. I know there was a lot of great ones, but I want to hear it. Remember to leave a thumbs up to show your support, and I will see you guys in the next round. See you.